Howdy folks, Colin and Shreya Lay here from Lay Roots, which is an amazing asset protection law firm where we help people protect themselves from stupid lawsuits. Mm -hmm. Recently, Shreya, we got a number of questions. Yeah. That's right there on the little screen. Mm -hmm. Am I guaranteed not to lose a single dollar if I set up an asset protection plan? And so we thought it'd be fun to talk about when answering that question, so the person has no plan set up, mm -hmm. right? So you got your... Right. So generally, when people call us to ask, they have no planning done. So starting from there, you have a 0% chance of having your assets protected in the event of a lawsuit. Or a 100% chance of losing some assets. Okay. You know that? <laughs> 100% chance. <laughs> we cannot guarantee that you won't lose any assets, but can pretty much guarantee you're going to be better off with an asset protection plan because the point of an asset protection plan is not for you to just throw up a couple middle fingers to whatever lawyer <laughs> comes after you and just ignore everything they do and they get a judgment against you and you just you don't, don't even get to pay attention to it and somehow... You won't lose any assets. That is not a good way to approach things. The point of an asset protection plan is to give you the leverage right. so that you can make a lawsuit either one, not happen in the first place, or go away and settle for, they say, pennies on the dollar. Right. So many people will, before they sue a person, they might do an asset search and see if it's even worthwhile to sue them. And so if you have an asset protection plan in place, you become a much less attractive target. And so the idea is that the lawsuit won't happen in the first place. They'll say, well, it's much easier to just take what insurance is going to give us instead of attempting to sue this person who doesn't have anything to take. So there is that aspect of it. Then there's also the idea that if they do go forward with that lawsuit, you can use the fact that it will be much, much harder for them to collect anything as a way to negotiate. And this is Absolutely, Shreya. Yeah. I wasn't cutting you off. I was just getting ready to go, <laughs> taking in my breath. We thought it would be useful to uh, highlight a case that we yeah. experienced the last couple of years or so. It was Our client was a business owner who was ending a lease on a building. Yeah. They were getting out of a deal. The other person on the deal was not happy and basically was threatening to sue them for right. this, that, and the other thing. And the they were... main asset, the most attractive asset that this person had was a fully paid off house yeah. on so, the West Coast. So this person, yeah. they were demanding something over a million dollars. Yeah, something, something like crazy. It was actually, it, yeah, it was like millions of dollars. It was a bunch this, of money. Yeah, seven figures. Yeah. And so the person knew that our client had a house, like Trey was saying, it's paid off, it's worth about a million dollars. I also had about 250K in mm -hmm. non-protected investment funds, like a brokerage account. Okay, this person was obviously upset at the thought of losing this home and these other assets. And the attorney uh, for the other side, they knew that they... They wanted... Get them. Yeah, they were kind of trying to take advantage. They were like, this person obviously loves their home who doesn't love their home and it's going to want to protect it and we're going to try and put the screws to them by threatening this asset yeah so this client set up an asset protection trust put the house into the trust mm -hmm. and went back to the uh, negotiating table yeah and you know said hey my house is in this trust now even though it's kind of late planning but it was yeah. still very effective the, our client was able to then settle this dispute for $10,000. Yes. So they went from the risk of, of losing that home, you know, the investment account, and they were able to settle for $10,000. That's a win. That's a win in my book. 10,000. Boom. 
<laughs> right. And so that is the point of the planning, right? This asset protection planning. If he had approached it from this, if I'm not going to lose, if I'm going to lose any amount of, I don't want to do this planning. And they lost $10,000, mm-hmm. you know, and altogether they put in about 20000 to set up this plan and then settlement, and that's $30,000. So for $30,000, they saved $1.25 million. And not to mention tons of time and effort in going through with a lawsuit and having to deal with the headache and emotional toll that that takes, as well as the money. You can't put a value on that. (laughs) But those are what the numbers look like. You know, this guy was going to lose, could very easily lose over a million dollars. Instead, they lost $10,000 and moved on with their life. Mm -hmm. And that is winning in asset protection. Yes. Cool. Thanks, Shreya. Thanks for watching, and we'll see you next time.